Yep. You're seeing right. This passenger airplane is flying almost directly upwards. Since the beginning of aircraft production in the 1900s, companies have spent countless dollars and hours into testing each model thoroughly for safety and development reasons. In the early days of aviation, the main method to test new aircraft like planes, helicopters, or even rockets was simply to fly them and observe the outcomes. As you can imagine, things didn't always go to plan. Today, thanks to advanced computer simulations and better building methods and of course the experience engineers have learned and documented, aircraft manufacturers have a good idea of how a plane will behave even before it's built. However, this advancement doesn't remove the need for rigorous and sometimes even risky testing. These checks and tests are crucial for both military and public aircraft. Today on Boost, we'll take a behind-the-scenes look at how these tests are prepared for, safely done, and how the data is gathered and used to improve the safety and performance of modern aircraft. Boeing is known worldwide for making commercial planes for over a century, like the iconic 747 Jumbo Jet. They have always been dedicated to rigorous testing, even though they have been surrounded by some controversy related to safety recently. Boeing manufactures aircraft for both the armed forces and various commercial airlines, and it's crucial for the company to understand the limits of its planes. One unique test they perform is the vertical takeoff, where the pilot quickly lifts the plane straight up just seconds after takeoff, a move that would never be done with passengers on board, but only in crucial situations, such as if there was a risk of a mid-air collision between two aircraft. Pilots probably wouldn't do a maneuver like this to avoid birds, so if you're a bird watching this video, please don't go anywhere near airports. It's safer to stay home and watch videos from Boost. And even if you're not a bird, you can click the subscription and thumbs up buttons to receive our latest uploads. Besides the steep takeoff, Boeing test pilots try out various other flying maneuvers during these tests, like quick turns and steep drops, to make sure the plane can handle different demands. If you're interested in seeing impressive flying like this, you can visit an air show. These are a great way for companies like Boeing and Airbus to showcase their new plane models to potential buyers. And the good thing is that you don't need to be a potential buyer to enjoy the show. Similar to Boeing, the French aircraft manufacturer Airbus also produces aircraft for both civilian and military use. Among their lineup is the sizable A400M Atlas cargo plane. This hefty aircraft measures 148 feet in length and sports a 140-foot wingspan. Even when empty, weighing in at 173,000 pounds, this turboprop-driven giant can ascend almost straight up right after takeoff. Surprisingly, for its size, the Atlas is quite nimble boasting the ability to perform tight turns and complex maneuvers thanks to its top speed of 520 miles per hour and expansive wing area. To fully understand what their planes are capable of, Airbus and other industry leaders subject them to rigorous tests under extreme conditions, including severe weather. These tests are vital because aircraft parts and systems can be affected by intense cold or heat conditions they must often face in operation. Cold weather trials are crucial to ensure an airplane can handle sub-zero temperatures, which of course happens on almost every flight as the temperature is freezing high up in the air, while hot weather tests examine how different components deal with heat and less dense air, impacting flight dynamics. When Airbus was testing its A330, it carried out a unique negative gravity test to mimic conditions an aircraft might face during turbulence, where it experiences brief periods of reduced gravity. This test helps determine how the plane handles such situations, which can vary in duration. A particularly daunting scenario for any flight is an engine failure, resulting in a sudden drop in power and altitude. To prepare for this, Boeing's team tested their 787 Dreamliner with simulated engine failures right after takeoff. This involved initiating takeoffs and then cutting engine power to see how well the plane could continue to ascend or maintain control. The tests aimed to ensure that, even in the event of an engine shutdown, the aircraft could stay on course without veering off more than 30 degrees, crucial for the safety and confidence in these machines' operational capabilities. 
This Boeing 747 is undergoing an extremely demanding procedure known as a rejected takeoff test. This simulates the intense moment when a pilot or the control tower decides to cancel a takeoff just as it's about to happen. In this dramatic scenario, the pilot has to quickly apply full brakes while the aircraft speeds down the runway at speeds topping 200 miles per hour. First, this test is done under standard conditions. Once the jumbo jet successfully completes it, the stakes are raised by loading the aircraft to its heaviest allowable weight of 975,000 pounds. Despite these severe test conditions, the pilot manages to halt the aircraft safely. However, this action causes the plane's wheels to overheat significantly, necessitating their deflation to prevent any risk of explosion and ensure the safety of emergency personnel. Pilots are well aware that each airport and runway presents its unique set of hurdles. Crosswinds present a significant challenge, arising when the wind blows across the runway at sharp angles, complicating landings. In Airbus's rigorous testing, Pilots must prove that handling their aircraft under strong crosswinds doesn't require extraordinary skills. They employ a maneuver called the crabbed approach, keeping the aircraft's wings level while angling the nose slightly off from the runway alignment. Just before landing, the pilot realigns the aircraft with the runway using the rudder, ensuring a smooth touchdown in the center. Water ingestion is another critical issue addressed by Airbus. During heavy rain, water can accumulate on the runway leading to large sprays during takeoff that could potentially enter and stall the engines. To counteract this, Airbus has designed its planes so that the engines and landing gear redirect water away from critical areas. To verify the effectiveness of these designs, Airbus conducts tests on specially prepared runways with standing water. The A350 is driven through these water obstacles at different speeds, and with the aid of visual and sensor data, engineers assess how the water is managed around the plane. At the McKinley Climatic Laboratory in Florida, the United States military maintains a giant hangar that can mimic a vast range of temperatures, from a chilling negative 65 to a scorching 165 degrees Fahrenheit. In 2014, Airbus's A350XWB was put through tests under every conceivable weather condition, from searing heat to freezing cold and everything in between, including artificial rain and snow. While this might seem excessively harsh, these rigorous tests are essential. They are the means by which today's aircraft engineers ensure the safety and reliability of the planes we trust for our travels. It's obvious that the current aircraft already go through a vigorous testing process, but what lies ahead for the future of flight testing? As technology continues to advance, we are seeing the introduction of virtual reality simulations, artificial intelligence, and even drones playing a larger role in how aircraft are tested and evaluated. These new tools can simulate conditions that are too dangerous, too rare, or simply impossible to replicate in real life, thereby expanding the boundaries of what can be tested without risking human lives or expensive machinery. Also, the push for greener aviation is leading to tests of new types of engines, such as electric or hydrogen-powered, which promise to reduce the environmental impact of flying. These innovative power sources bring their own set of challenges and require new testing protocols to ensure they are as safe and reliable as the jet engines we rely on today. With each flight test, engineers gather valuable data, pushing the envelope of what's possible and ensuring that the next generation of aircraft will be even safer, more efficient, and more reliable. What do you think of this video? Let me know in the comments below. If you found this video interesting and would like to see more from Boost, Click the subscription and thumbs up buttons. Keep watching by clicking on your screen now.